This is like a follow-up video from yesterday's video. This is a devastation after the rain video and it's still raining. It's starting to rain again, look. So I got some water. Oh look, it's drops. It's threatening to... It's, that's a warning actually. <laughs> that's a warning. Oh here I am, raining and all, and I am soaking some plants. Okay, so this plant here, I call this Apache Magic because I bought it with no name but it is so beautiful it sort of looks like a blue metal when a blue metal is sort of stressed and dying that's what it looks like but this one is not stressed and dying this is healthy just a little bit thirsty see doesn't that look like a black pvn okay so see the edges so this is actually a cutting so this this one hardly has any roots yet and it's got a little bit of roots and but if I tug it it's already firm so which means it's taking hold and rooting up but it's still thirsty so that's why I'm soaking it in rainwater and I keep there you go and this also this Alfred graph this two-headed um, Alfred graph Look at you. It's beautiful. The blotchy, the blotchiness. It's a beautiful plant. I love it. Okay, it's like a black prince, but it's blotchy. And this Fabiola, this fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Okay, Fabiola. Uh, you are now all plump up. So, there you go. So, how do you water your succulents or when? Uh, there's no set time, only when they need it. Some of you keep asking me how and when. No, you don't. You only water them when they need it. Where did you come from? Okay, I think this belong to here. So I am growing them in different positions. And this is a newly purchased. This is only like a baby. What happens as well is, see, look at that. The, it's shedding. It's shedding its leaves. It was intact before. And I'm looking at, there's a root rot in here. So this is a newly bought plant. A lot of plants, newly bought plants, will die on you. So I would say, well, in my experience, I only have a few that sort of died on me. And this one is called Echeveria subcorimbosa LAU026. Okay. Now, this one now, if I touch it, I just barely touch it. There you go. It just falls off. See? And you can see that, okay, so if I pull that out, I'm going to pull it out now. There you go. So it barely has any roots in it, see? And it's already died on me. So that's why sometimes you say, oh, my plants are dying on me. It's not your fault that they're dying. It's um, the transition from where they're grown. It's like they've been given steroids and they're all hyped up and pumped up and rearing to go. So when you do see them in shops or when you buy them, then oh, it looks nice and healthy and you, you pick the healthiest plant. The minute you bring it home, the poor plant is trying to adjust to its new environment. And of course, this one I haven't watered. So if I go here, that's dry. This is actually in my master succulent soil mix. So you can see that the soil is still fairly dry. So that's also one of the reasons why sometimes, sometimes, okay, see, this is not all the time because different plants, different scenario and different condition, uh, they will die and the reason for dying is also different. So this one has barely have any roots. See, you can see, didn't have any roots or maybe the roots has already rotted away. But then if I just, I'm supposed to use a, uh, uh, scissor, but never mind. I'm just going to use my hand. Okay. <laughs> uh, me and my sound effects. Okay. So these leaves now, I will just leave them there and they will strike or they will grow. But hang on, since we have rain, nothing better than rain to start you off. I'm still going to leave that and the bottom leaf should be taken off. See, that's root right there. Translucent. Okay. 
have no fear. And there you go. I'm going to soak the whole pot into rainwater, but it doesn't really matter. Otherwise, I would use my sea salt mix. If the plant is dry as well, so you see the bubbles. Okay, turn that there. So if the plant is dry, they can also die from not enough water. So the soil is really, really dry here. So, and I'm just lifting. It's getting about only 30% so far. So while you see bubbles, if there's bubbles, there's air. There's air, which means you need to water to leave it there. So those ones are already dry, but it doesn't matter. Some of them will rot because I got them wet, but others uh, will, I'm sure, strike up. But if you have two plants that will strike up because there's so many of them, then that's already a good thing. Because in nature, it's the same thing. You'll have, say, a mother plant like this, and all of a sudden birds will knock it or hit it, the leaves, and they will just fall off. Some, more than others, will fall off easily, and there's some that will hold on to the mummy, clinging on to mummy's skirt and saying, I'm not going to let go, I'm going to stay here with mummy. The ones do uh, fall off, like these leaves here, they will have uh, to fend for themselves and they will grow. They will try and grow. So now this one, I'm still, uh, okay, I should really leave that there, but, okay, we are going to put this back where I got it from, okay? So, because it's like um, mimicking uh, the growing condition, like if they're all out uh, in the wild sort of thing. But except this one is the wild thing for this one is to go back to where it came from there. So I'm just going to leave you here for now. And I'm going to do an update of that one to see. So you can see that the growth, there's nothing to worry about. So that one might grow, it might also die, but it doesn't matter. If it grows, it grows, and if it dies, well, it's destiny. <laughs> so, okay. California, okay? I should really take that out. So, Miss California is about to flower, and it has orange. I can see orange, 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 orangere. Okay, flowers. Now, this one is California Queen. So, they kind of look the same, but different. And also, the flower is different. So, I would say that this is a completely or entirely different plant from each other. So, on the left is California. On the right is California Queen. California Queen, you are so different to each other. Look at you. Echeveria, still loving you. Okay, also flowering and also that viant. With any luck, oh, what are you? Laulensis. Okay, so this one looks the same with that one. And this one's flowering, and it's sitting next to this one. If we're not careful, we're going to end up with uh, Laulencali, Laulencicali, Laulensis, California. You cross that, you come up with a name, because I can't. Call this one Kalinsis, the baby of those two. But still loving you, I'm still, still California. <laughs> <laughs> Still California Queen. <laughs> is that what we're going to call these two if they cross pollinate? So, cross pollinating is just see those little tippy things there. Okay, so if I just do that, even with my fingers, if I could reach, if I could reach, and then I go here like this, that's all the bees, that's all they're doing. And they cross it from that. So, from that to that. So I'm encouraging this one to go red, see? But I could also encourage that one to go green. So if I take this one, that's it, they're all mixed up now, and put it here, or what's another open one here? There you go. So that way, they can just all 
mix match, mix and match, okay? Mishy mashy. There you go. So that's as simple as that. Cross pollination as simple as that. But then in here, you can't really isolate anything. So I could cross pollinate that with this um, Eleanor as well. Oh, we just got beautiful thick flowers. Look at that. See? So it's like a hybrid already from, I'm sure that's already been uh cross with uh something else and you go quickly because my battery is winking there you go that's it that's it for now you can go happily cross pollinate each other invite all the flies and the insects to cross pollinate you i was meant to do an after the rain video but really it's more inspecting my plants so this is uh Chaviria manwades and look see they had too much water but that's okay. We just remove the leaves and I'm not moving the plant. I'm still leaving that there because uh, this is actually a baby already. My mommy Manuades. Oh, hang on. I just want to clean it up because if you don't clean it up, that would just rot and uh, in fact all the other leaves or even the plant so down in the bottom it's all nice and healthy look there's even new babies growing under there and my mother plant has been okay so that's good enough for now <laughs> because my battery's winking now this is the mummy plant and nice and healthy maybe there's a couple of mealybug licking it look there's white spots there but I'm just going to inspect. I don't see any mealybug yet. Yes, nothing. But it's just, they do try and lick it and then they go away. So before, if I see, I don't even see the mealybug um, warning signs. <laughs> I just see the plant sort of infested with mealybug. But that's when my I first started growing succulents. And lately, I'm having a difficult time finding mealybug out here out here but inside you will get a lot more mealybug if you grow your succulents indoors than outdoors okay so any sort of whitish like that one there I like to inspect just in case I should really get the pointy tweezer and if I do see that I go squirt squirt with my eco pest oil uh, and then I'll come back to it a few days later. Oh, I shouldn't really do that, but I couldn't help it. I see dry leaves. Oh, that's a bit hard to remove, so we'll just leave it then. Okay, I better go inside. Oh, you're so pretty. You are so pretty. Belladonna. Belladonna.